Hey, we're here. We got Joe's S13 subframe out torn down. Uh, we got the GK Tech subframe reinforcement kit that we're going to be welding under the subframe. Um, S13 subframes, obviously, know get pretty old, uh, so they're in kind of a failure mode. Uh, also, not super stiff as far as rigidity goes, so this kit really helps. A, prevent failure, and B, really stiffen the subframe so the suspension can work correctly. So, starting off here, uh, we're reinforcing the toe arm mount here, boxing in. As you can see, it's a big open area on this side, so this will nicely box in the toe area. Um, we got the rear upper control arm mount that we'll be reinforcing here. You know, it's not, not too crazy of a mount, but a nice little reinforcement there, boxing. Then we have the lower control arm. This is the most common failure failure area of uh, S chassis subframe. I've seen multiple people break this off actually. Um, so we'll be reinforcing the welds here and then probably on top as well. But um, then these guys, this is the traction rod mount. And this is mainly an issue with flexing. This mount under torque and under suspension, you know, the tire force likes to flex around. So this will really reinforce that. And the GK Tech kit is very well thought out. It's got these drain holes so that, you know, water isn't coming in here and filling up your subframe. So that's pretty sweet. And then just the other lower control arm mount here. That's a nice little reinforcement. It's all bent to shape and everything. So it's a pretty sweet kit. Joe had the urethane uh, energy suspension mounts in his subframe, but it's got a V8 in it and they just they still move around under torque and under tire force, so we're gonna be replacing them with the GK Tech rear subframe risers, and these are solid aluminum. So that'll be a nice, nice little upgrade there. Cool. The GK Tech kit also includes this rear differential uh, support here. Uh, this section actually is known to crack under like hard launches. It's more of an S14 problem technically, but I can always help reinforcing the, the subframe here. We ran some, some bolts through to you know make sure and squeeze this extra tight for so when we weld it it's a perfect fit um, you know you could even take your diff cover off and, and bolt it to there and that would do the same thing we did have to just grind just a touch off this one section here just to get it to fit in between the thing but you know as with any mass production part there's gonna be a little variances here and there so overall very nice very nice kit So we just discovered that Joe's Joe had S14 toe arms in this, so the spacing here is not quite correct for an S13, so it was pinching this closed. So we just gotta pry that back open in order to fit these uh, welds in there. But just another thing that be on the lookout, don't uh, don't buy S14 toe arms unless you plan on replacing the bushings in your hand joints.